Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Steam Engine tutorial. We've got a smaller one here. This is the Union Pacific 844. So if you've already done the Union Pacific Big Boy and Challenger, this one should be a piece of cake. Uh, so this is what we're going to be building in this tutorial. We're going to jump over to a flat spot in my tutorial world, and we are going to get started. All right, guys, so this is the UP844. Uh, there is the big boy back here, and there is the challenger. Hopefully you've already built those. If you haven't, be sure to go check those out. This is uh, the next size down, and uh, it's very similar to the other two. It's just a little bit shorter, and of course the wheels are a little bit different. So we've got a two, two in the front, four in the middle, and four here in the back, or two in the back, making it a 484 setup. Uh, so anyway, should be a really fun, easy, quick tutorial, just like the other ones, a little bit shorter. Using the same materials that we've used on the other steam engines, including the Paramarquette right here, uh, or the Polar Express. So now we have four steam engines in the group. Uh, using nether brick, nether brick stairs, nether brick slabs. You can switch all these out for cobblestone if you don't have this texture pack, which is in the description below. Uh, I've got the uh, cobblestone wall, mozzie cobblestone wall, cobblestone cobblestone stairs. I've got some stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs. Basically the same thing I used on all the other uh, steam engines here. Another brick fence. We've got some coal ore ladders, item frames. Uh, now I did pull in some different heads. So if you're on the PC version, you can pull in uh, wool's head and stacked gold's head. Uh, just remove the apostrophe S and give yourself that player's head and you will get these two colors right here. Alternatively, you can use yellow stained clay and red stained clay thrown inside of an item frame to get the front lights here on the front. Other than that, it's pretty easy build and just like the other ones, like I said, and we're going to drop right here and we're going to get started. All right, we're going to start off with another brick and we're going to put three blocks across just like this. Again, if you're using cobblestone, this is where you're going to switch it out. Switch to your stairs, put them across the front just like that and one on each side here and here and then we're going to grab our slab and we're going to put one on each side of the block in the middle the next section we're going to do we're going to do two sets of guide wheels so we're just going to put a piece of upside down cobblestone stair here and one right here same thing on the other side so here and here we're going to grab some another brick slab and we're going to go right down the middle you can just go ahead and put a few pieces in for right now we're going to skip a spot and we're going to do another set of wheels right here so on that block right here and right here. So again, you're just skipping one in between. All right, now for the big ones, the, the drive wheels in the middle. Again, we're just gonna grab some more nether brick slabs and run them right down the middle. Just throw in about 10 or so. Go back to your block of cobblestone and we're gonna go to the fourth block right here and we're gonna put a solid piece. Skip two, put a solid piece. Skip two, put a solid piece. And we need one more, so go ahead and put a couple more pieces in here. Grab a solid piece, skip two, and put one right there. Now just put some upside down stairs on either side of the solid block. Going just like this. And I'm going to do one side. You guys can do the other side. It's exactly the same. And right here. And you should have, again, a two block gap right there. All right, take some cobblestone and go right on top of these. All right, take some gray wool and put the hubs in or the center pieces. And then right on top of that, switch back over to your cobblestone and put just on top of the middle sections. Grab your stair pieces and go back to back on each side of the block. And this will make your four center drive wheels. All right, so it should look just like that so far. And if you want to, you can go ahead and cap these off and finish these right here. Of course, same thing on the other side. All right, there we go. Put the other four wheels on the other side and let's continue back. All right, we're going to put in some more nether brick and we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a fourth piece here. Grab our stair piece, put one in so I can get one upside down, two block gap between. Just like that. Put in a couple more so I can go back to back, skipping one space in between. So again, you're going to have one block here and then you've got two more. And then two more blocks coming out the back. Again, go ahead and build these up and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, back to the front. We're gonna go with another brick, three pieces right here, and then two down the middle, one, two. Then we're gonna go back to our stair pieces, and we're gonna put three pieces across the front, just like this. 
and another one on the side and another one on the side right here. All right, right here on the guide wheels, we're gonna put three pieces of slabs, one, two, three, same thing on the other side. Grab a stair piece and they're gonna go upside down right here. So go ahead and put three in. The one in the middle is gonna go straight. The one on the ends are gonna turn. So it wraps around and it makes a pattern that looks just like this. All right, back to your slabs and right out of the center, which is the lower hip box of this stair piece, we're gonna put three pieces just like that. Go back to your stairs and we've got an upside down stair piece going this way and we've got one going this way and it lands right on the center of that hub. And then we've got a solid piece just after that. All right, and then one more stair piece here, two here, one here, one here, and one right there. And then back to your slabs and we're gonna put one here, here, and here, and then connect in at the top. Again, you're gonna have the exact same thing on the other side. So again, right here, we're gonna have three slabs, one, two, three, upside down stair pieces, one, two, and three. Make sure you turn the outside pieces just like that. Three slabs down the middle, one, oops, one, two, two, three, upside down stairs, and back on the solid piece of the hub right there. Solid piece of block, upside down stair piece in between, slabs on the bottom, and it slabs across the top. Pretty simple. All right, down the middle, we wanna go ahead and fill that in with your another brick, or again, your cobblestone. And then just keep filling that back for right now. Stop one block short. All right, we've got some regular stairs that go right here in the back in front of those. And then right behind here, an upside down stair piece right here and right here. And then two slabs, one, two, one, two. Got a solid block in between and then a few pieces of cobblestone coming out the back to connect your tender car on when we are finished. All right, back to the front, we're gonna put seven pieces in front of these stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, so you should just be skipping one right here in the front. Don't worry about the middle. Again, we're gonna keep running that back to the back. We're gonna stop right there. We're gonna have three pieces of upside down stairs right here, one in the middle, and then one on each side right here and right here. All right, off the back of these, we're gonna put an upside down stair piece facing this way and one this way. And then we're gonna have one facing right here and right here. And on the outside of those, we're gonna grab slabs and we're gonna put two pieces of slabs on those two stair pieces. So again, here and here and right here and right here. All right, the next one is an upside down stair piece right here and then one facing the back. So that will finish off this little pattern here. Same thing on this side, upside down stair piece and then one facing the back. And then again, put in three pieces of slabs, one, two, three, and then a solid block. And then on this side, three pieces, one, two, three, and then a solid block. And then we're just gonna skip one, put a solid, skip one, put a solid, skip two, put a solid, skip two, and put a half slab. So it should stop right in between here, and then go back across the top and connect it. Same thing on this side. So we're gonna go back to our solids. We're gonna skip one, put one, skip one, put one, skip two, put one, skip two and put a half slab here and then go back up. Not quite that far and not quite that low. Just like that, go back to your solid and pull that down the middle. Take that down here to the end. Stop right there for right now. All right, we've got two rows of the three right here. So one, two three, four, five, six. So there's three, three, and then we've got seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should stop right here. We've got upside down stair pieces that cover up on the outside of these two blocks here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I did forget to fill in on mine <laughs> right in here in the back. So go ahead and fill that in. Then we've got a solid piece here and then a regular stair piece here and then a slab on the back covering that up. Same thing down this side right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, solid, and then a stair piece. All right, back to the front. We're gonna go ahead and put our rails across here. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to your solid piece, another brick. Skip two spots, one, two. So on the third one right here, we're gonna put three blocks. One, two, three, make sure they're centered. And then on either side of that, we're gonna have an upside down stair piece here and an upside down stair piece here. All right, go back to your solid and right behind that, we're gonna go 16 blocks. So right behind the stair piece, this is the first piece right here. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Should stop right here. Do the same thing on the other side and fill the middle in solid. 
All right, back to the front. We're going to grab another stair piece, and that is going to go right here on the outside of this one. So if you want to just set one there and then put it in just like that. And then here. And <laughs> right there. And then we've got slabs that will finish across the top going back. And on the other side. Switch over to your stone bricks, and we're going to put in five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Right here, one, two, three, four, five. Fill this middle in with solid, another brick. And then we've got two rows of five. And then we've got two rows of three. Continue your slabs all the way back across these. And then on the last two, you're going to have upside down stair pieces on each one. And then one on the inside here. And then you're going to surround this with slabs. So again, you've got an upside down stair piece here, and then slabs. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five, and then two upside down stair pieces. All right, again, back to the front. We're going to go five pieces starting on top of this stair piece. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and grab your stair pieces and run two pieces up here and two pieces up right there. All right, go ahead and run these corners back to the stone bricks. Stopping there, same thing on this side here. And stopping here and then back to the front we've got a slab here and then we've got a stair piece that goes right here and then turns when we put the next piece in so again it leaves just a little bit of a cool look for some depth on the corner and then run some upside down stairs the rest of the way back and over here Again, we've got a slab and then we've got a stair piece and then turn it and then run that back all right, back to your stone bricks. Go ahead and put your five pieces here and five pieces here. Switch back over to your nether brick and put one here, one here, and then three in the middle, and one right back here. All right, this is where your fire is gonna be or your boiler, so go ahead and light that up and then put some coal in behind that. Again, this is up to you how many pieces you wanna put in. I've got mine to right here, and then I've got a solid wall going across the back, actually right here. And that's gonna get built up later. Right behind these solid blocks, we're gonna go with a slab. And then we're going to have a cobblestone wall piece right here. And then a cobblestone stair on top of it for your seat. Same thing on this side. Skip a spot, slab, cobblestone wall piece, and then your chair. All right, behind that we've got two solid pieces right here. One and two. One and two. And then continue your stairs on the outside along here and over here. All right, next layer, guys, is super easy. We're just going to go solid pieces right on top, and stay in by one, and just run this all the way back to right there. Same thing on the other side. All right, you can build up the inside of your boiler. Put some more coal pieces in there if you want. Put one on each side here, and eventually you're going to have a look on the inside just like that. And that's probably what I should have did on my other steam engines. I, I put it on the floor like a dumbass. <laughs> but anyways, leave your hole right there in the middle. Go to the outside of this one here, and we're going to put a block, and then we're going to put a stair piece here. Same thing on the other side. We're going to put one here, and then a stair piece right here. Grab yourself some panes of glass, and go one, two, three, and build that up twice. Two, three, and then here. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. All right, we've got a solid piece right here in the corner, and then we've got one right here, same thing here, and then here, and then we've got an upside down stair piece facing the back, just like that. All right, again, back to the front, we've got three stair pieces, one, two, three. And then we've got our stair pieces, we'll run down the back, or down the sides rather, all the way down to the back side of this wall piece here. And again, you're gonna build that up and do the same thing over here on this side. All right, switch back over to your solid piece, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. Oops, and we need one here on the outside. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, and one on the outside. Go back to the front real quick. We're going to put in a couple slabs right here on the front. We're going to put in one right here, and then we're going to put one and then skip one, just like that. Finish out the back with solid pieces. I guess I should have did that while I was back here, guys. Sorry about that. So it looks just like that. All right, almost done. We're gonna grab a piece of another brick fence and we're gonna put it right here and then put two solid pieces behind that. One, two. So I guess I kind of screwed up here. I didn't really need that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're gonna have a slab on each side here and one down in here. And then go back up to the lower hitbox on this one here and put one and put another one right here. 
All right, that slab piece actually goes right back here. <laughs> this is where it should have been. All right, grab your stair pieces and go one, two, and then turn across the back of that, and then turn going forward right there. All right, behind that we've got two layers of slabs, so there's one, and then two, and then we're gonna go back to our stair pieces and we're gonna go across the middle. So I just set one here on the side, and then put three, just like that. And we're gonna put five pieces, so one, two, three, four, and five, and then turn it, and then go back. So it should leave you four spaces in the middle that you can either cap off like this, or if you wanna move it down by one or a half a slab, you can put it in right there. All right, back to your slabs, or staying on your slabs, we're gonna go one, two, three, right here, and then back to your solid, and we're gonna go back five. One, two, three, four, five. So it should cover up your coal pieces. And then go ahead and cover that up by three, and cover this up by three. And then just wrap around that with stairs. One piece here facing the front, and then turn it going down the side. Same thing here, one going to the front, and then turn these going down the side. All right, we've got seven slabs going down the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should just overhang by one, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got saw blocks here behind that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here. And then we've got another set of slabs right above that. And that will finish out the top. All right, guys, and that is your Union Pacific 844. Now we'll swing over here and we'll look at the interior of what I've got on mine. I did some item frames with some compasses. Again, around this, I trimmed off on the inside here with another row of uh, nether brick blocks. And then I've got some levers on the side. Really, really simple, easy design. It looks pretty cool. Don't forget your uh, fence pieces down the side of the, uh, the boiler here. And we've got a couple trim pieces here in the front, one here and one here. Pretty sure we put that one in. This here is the um, uh, the gold block or the stat gold's head, so it's actually stat gold if you're giving yourself that on the PC. And then same thing here. It's just wool, and then the bottom one is the same thing, stat gold's head. And that should trim everything out on the 844. Uh, the numbers on the side I have linked in the description to a video that helped me do that. And uh, that is it. I'm going to splice in for the tender right here. All right, right off the back for our coupler, we're going to have four pieces. Two, three, and four. So you should have four pieces total. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're going to go to our slabs, and we're going to drop down here by one. So we can just either put one right here and then go down underneath that and get rid of the top one. And then we're going to go back 21 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 and 21. All right, back to your cobblestone stairs, and we're going to put in some wheels. And we're going to have seven total. So starting right here, we're going to go backwards, back to back, just like that, and put in one. Skip a spot, and then do it again. Skip two spots, one, two, and then build the next set. And then continue backwards, skipping one spot in between. and then build it up. All right, so you should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, next part's pretty easy. We're gonna grab a solid brick and we're gonna put here, here, and here. And then right down the middle. Hang over by one piece and then a piece of cobblestone wall just like that. Back to the front, we're gonna put an upside down stair piece here and one on the other side. <laughs> and I didn't copy the bottom part of my wheels. I just noticed that. <laughs> no big deal. We're just going to put one on the lower hitbox and two just like this. And then back down to your lower hitbox. Same thing on the other side. So we've got one on the lower, two on the upper, one on the lower. And that runs all the way back to the last wheel. Right there. Same thing on this side. Oops. To right there. All right, guys, back to your solid piece, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do that twice. And then we're going to run this all the way back to right here, just over the last wheel. Go straight back across that and go up the other side. And then cover up the wheels. And you can put a full solid bottom on this if you want to. I just left mine open. You won't see it anyways. 
Go ahead and fill that in and it looks like that. Grab your stairs and we're going to go to the outside of this and surround the entire layer. And then wrap it around the back. And again, I should stop right here. All right, guys, across the front, we have regular stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the rest is solid just behind that. And then we're going to put two on top of that. Or two layers, rather. So there's one. And there's two. All right, build those three layers up all the way around. All right, so it'll look just like that. And uh, don't worry, I'll go over the writing and all the uh, trim stuff at the end of the tutorial. All right, next layer is really, really easy. We're just going to go ahead and cover everything up with stairs all the way around. All right, grab your slabs, and we're going to leave seven open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the eighth block, right across here, and then make the rest solid. Alright, back to your stair pieces, and now we're just going to turn them around upside down. So again, across the front, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, and then turn it and go back nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then across here. Super simple. Fill in the middle with coal. and then just surround the rust with slabs. And I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna show you the rest of the train. So after you get your slabs around it, go ahead and grab your fence posts and run them down the side. Leave the, this corner piece open, grab some fence gates and run them down one, two, three, four, five. Now this fifth one is kinda hard to set. You need to come up by two and then out by one. And then go ahead and grab your, whoops, <laughs> come up by two, three, and then out by one right here. And then you're just going to set, whoops, you're going to set these right here and open them. And uh, that takes care of the bottom one. As far as the white writing down the side, you're going to come in by one, two, three. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a spot and go one, two, three, four, five. And that's your Union Pacific down the side uh, opposite over here. Again, uh, we're up one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually, this should be reversed. It should say Union Pacific. So just go ahead and count out your letters. I just did a, uh, an MC, uh, MC Edit Mirror, and I flipped it over. So this should be over here, and then that should be over there. No big deal. Same thing with your uh, gates here. Uh, fence posts here, fence posts there. Uh, I've got some ladders down the back. Oops, if you want to put those in straight up the middle. And then I've got some little ribs that go across the back here. So if you go in by, uh, there's your upside downs or your, yeah, your stair piece. Yeah, is that your stair piece? Yep, there's your stair piece. Go one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, just go ahead and build it up. Skip two, build it up, skip two, build it up. And that finishes, finishes off the Tinder car. And hopefully everybody enjoyed the tutorial. You've got the Tinder on it now. I don't because I skipped over that. And uh, like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.